Well, suck my fucking dick if you think I'm going there right now. When I have to, yes, but not a single second earlier. Nah, I'll go study first. What the fuck? Remote control. Oh! Yeah, no shit, I know what it's for. Lovely armchair, and surrounded by books. I wouldn't mind doing, sitting down to a page of, through a few. Keep that table in mind if you need a spot to hide. Ah. An impressionist landscape from 1905. Evocative. One of the loveliest I've seen in the house. And you've been complimenting everything in this house so far. Reference books of all sorts. Medicine, physics, psychology. There are some on art of which I own too. Encyclopedias? That's... That... Oh, right, this game is British. <laughs> I was about to say, that's not really how you spell encyclopedias. Encyclopedias? Dictionary is quite a fine reference collection. A filing cabinet with contacts. We have several at the gallery, but ours are from this century. <laughs> Mainly African mass, some are Indian, though that is not my field of expertise. Huh. Motherfucker. It's a broken key. Okay, so uh, a broken key is going to be a key item. Pun intended. Gotcha. Shit. Oh! This is the back deck. Shit! Which means that... Aw, oh, that one room. Happy anniversary. Isn't it a bit odd, though? To have your anniversary and your own deck? Grill tongs. Perfect for cooking a barbecue. Excellent for taking care of the oven. So my guess is that's a puzzle for the kitchen. Box is full of soil and fertilizer. I'm not sure, but I'd say this, bat this battery belongs to that floodlight. Wait, what floodlight? What? Hold up. Sure, but I'd say this battery belongs to that floodlight. Master key, remote control, matchbox, ring, fuses, grill tong. Nothing. Turn it on. So I gotta find something to fuel that damn thing. Okay. Oh, fuck. Well, that leads just one thing now. Ah, fuck. Fuck it. Need me to your room, okay? Yes. Huh? Elevation plan. An elevation with some notes on it. The scaffold goes here. Arc scaffolding, paint to here, repair leaks, fix loose hop. I don't know what that significance that has yet. Nothing images here, there's an old record player. Those record players are going to end up being playing a big part at some point. Yeah, well, not fucking yet. Wait a minute. Okay. First things first. 
That first door apparently takes a master key. Yep. Use. Fuck it. Oh, fuck. <sighs> that room looks really dark. No shit. Open a table that's Russian or some other similar language. Miniature Carvel looks just lovely, I don't care. Switch must be turned on the light in the bedroom, there's no electricity right now. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Well, whatever. I don't see any other way to get through. I don't think there is any other way to get through. You know what, let me try each one of these doors one more time. I would rather not have to deal with that shit if I don't have to. Oh, fuck. How did I miss this the first time? Twelve trees in here, but most are sealed. Mirror is rather dusty. Can I, can I, can I? Dishcloth. Smells like a cesspool. They've cleaned up a lot of filthy water using this thing. <sighs> okay. Well, over here it is. I'm honestly on edge right now. This is str oh. I didn't realize this was like just a character select. Doesn't work very well. It picks up a lot of weird interference. Sadly, just one less one of your characters. When this happens, the victim is no longer part of the story. I am will drop to the ground. The locations will appear on them in following order. As long as you have labeled your progress, will be saved. Be careful if you lose them, or you'll have to restart the episode. Hmm. Well, that really sucks. So, like... <sighs> Damn it. It bothers me that I lost Sophie because I actually liked her. Damn it. See, I didn't even realize that that thing was like a character select. I figured that it was just like... Like, I, I would play these guys at different episodes. God damn it. Mm. 
So here I am, back in this room, <laughs> with Sophie. Yeah, I restarted the whole episode just to use her again. Now that just, that's not just, that's not me being cheap, not wanting to accept the consequences of her death. There's two, first off, I like playing as her, but there, the bigger reason is because, <gasps> wow. Okay. Like I said, I, I pretty much knew that something bad was gonna happen when I opened up that door the first time. But I thought it was gonna be like some story related shit though. I didn't know that as soon as I opened the door she was just gonna die. So I just find that to be kind of bullshit. Now that I know, if I fuck up again it'll accept my consequences. That was just kind of bullshit. I just don't want to lose this bitch because of some stupid shit. Where's the garage? The garage is through here. Oh, and by the way, so also, I restarted the episode, but one, what I did do is I did recreate everything I did the first time around. Even down to dropping that scented candle at the fireplace in the living room. I recreated everything I did the first time. So. Ah, oh, the electricity back on. Hmm. Well, let's figure out what to do. I can't go through that one door. Or that door. The double doors will kill me. A broken key. Fuse. And to think I was just trying to go through that. <laughs> now, one thing I've learned though, in this game, Jumps like sequences, startling sequences are dynamic. Cause like when a door would open up one way, it wouldn't open up the other way. Burglar alarm. Okay, let's see if I can figure out what to do here. All right. Well, I can't go out that side part of it. And I feel like the fuse, or the place you use the fuse, is upstairs. So what are the items I have? Tongs, not useful here. Dishcloth, not useful here. Useful, but only with the electricity on. Master key, I've already used it. Matchbox, I can't use that. Fuses, what about this? I mean, made of iron, nothing unusual. Wait a minute. Wait a goddamn minute. That's not a fucking ring. The game is trying to bamboozle me. That's not a ring. That's the other half of the broken key. See, when you get stumped somewhere, you look everywhere, and then if you can't find it still, you look at all your items. Let's see if I can use the key here. Broken piece seems to match the stock. Can I glue them together or something? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Do I have any sort of glue? <sighs> I'm 
need glue. Glue could be in the kitchen. Where's the oven? Okay, what about the, uh, what? That's the oven. No. Okay. <laughs> Dishcloth. But what, what did that do? I, I don't know what that did. Okay, so if I've been kind of boring this last few minutes, it's because I've been trying to figure out what to do. Um, and so in that hallway that I'm putting an arrow at, um, or you should be. Like, I didn't notice that door on the left leads to the kitchen, which presented me some problems at first. Now, at the same time, in this little square room that I'm in, I didn't notice that door, the, the upper right door. I don't know if that's always been there, but I feel stupid now. So the glue might be in there. And the, whole, and the fuse thing might be there too. Uh -uh. Huh? Master key. Yes. Done. I don't wiki will be even use again. Excellent. Getting farther. A basement. Shit. A creepy haunted house with a basement. I suppose it wouldn't be complete without it. There's a note stuck on the safe. I see that. Safe riddle. Dear Julia, if you found this note, congratulations. You're one step closer to solving the puzzle I prepared for you. I hope it keeps you entertained while I'm away. I've hidden your favorite doll in the safe and changed the combination. Since you aspire to becoming a detective when you grow up, I think this is a great chance to put your deduction skills to the test. The new combination is as follows. The number of our street address, Saul's age, the decade and year the canvas hanging upstairs right next to the staircase was painted. Good luck, my dear inspector. Anything else? I doubt it, yeah. Number of our street address. Saul's age. Youngest child. Saul. Seven. That's what that is. I was curious about that. Seven. Decade and year. The canvas hanging upstairs is painted. Okay, well, I'm... Uh, Alright, let me go up there real quick, but I'm not about to sit there and show that. I'm just going to cut. Okay, I'm back now, and... Uh, boy, oh boy, do I feel stupid. Hmm. I, I made the cut. I went to go check out the painting. I forgot the painting is on the fucking wall. <laughs> How stupid. Although... Although, this game takes place in 1998, and the painting was just recently moved, which means it's probably 1998. So the number of our street address. What was the number of the street address? 
I don't know. I'm gonna give this a shot though. Yeah, no shit. Well, seven is this digit. Oh, it's right there. Number of a street. I don't know what the number of the street. Wait, 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 wait. I'm thinking back to cutscenes. Because they did mention the, the, the number of the street address. What was it? Hang on. Either way, the, the painting. The painting isn't there, but I mean, all you gotta do is do some deduct detective skills. Uh, 98. Right? The deck. Wait, the decade and year. The decade was the 90s, which is implicit in the year 1998. So my guess is it's just 98. What the fuck was this street thing though? Shut up. Four? Beautiful. Green rag doll, huh? She likes my favorite doll as a child. I used to read fairy tales with her. Huh. I see nothing of use here. Interesting. So it's a green rag doll, huh? There's some very good wines here. Some very good wines and some very good and expensive wines. I mean, you said wine like three times. Yeah. So I'm not gonna lie. Like, had they not mentioned that the painting was only taken down recently, then I wouldn't have been able to guess that. I would have needed the painting first. Like the actual painting. East Asian vases. They are fine pieces. Such a shame they're kept here. A painting by Kaufman from 1945. I doubt it's an original. Old junk piled up. Nothing helpful. Old junk. The washer looks like it was here before they built the house. <laughs> it, is that it? That's not it. There's more. There's more. Oh, yeah, here. Oh, that's that's what I already got there. What about that? Nothing? Okay. They don't appear to use wardrobe anymore. It's empty. There's the fucking views. You have to pull that. I feel like that's there for a purpose in order to keep the presence from coming in. Okay. Before I do anything else, I want to ensure that this thing I can get into it. Pit of wardrobe anymore, it's empty. I hope this is a good place for me to hide, otherwise I might fucking die right here again. Cause I missed the fuses are misshapen. Oh. Oh, this is a full blown puzzle. Uh I don't know which one to do. Um, ten A, twenty, twenty five. 
I, I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know how else to do it. I believe it'll be fine that way. I'll return, I'll attempt to turn on the switch to see if it works. Oh my god. Fuck. It worked. Finally. Daniel, if you're here, I'm going to find you. Let's just get up this fucking staircase. Oh. Oh. Still. So real quick, some things about that. I tried to solve that puzzle, what you might consider to be legitimately. I'd try to trace the wires and to find out what might be right according to each individual combination. And in the end, I used a mix of my own version of problem solving and as the game refers to it, any mini miny mo. Um <sighs> It was... I don't know how the hell to solve that puzzle is what I'm trying to say. I kind of guess it at a pure luck. Uh, I got to the point... So, I have a thing when I do playthroughs. When it comes to puzzles. I will attempt them for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I look up how to do it. That puzzle took me a nasty 28 minutes. <laughs> so, just to give you an idea how much, of I, uh, how much I cut. So, um, yeah. Still don't know how the fuck to do it. Oh. Well, as far as I can tell now, the next nearest thing. The boiler appears to be running. I see leaks all over and many different damp spots. Oh, fuck. Well, I might fucking die right here, but I'm going to give it a shot. What? Oh, that was, I must do something about it. What was this? Shut down, press right in case of prevent correct boiler function. You can perform emergency shutdown shut down by per pressing it for four seconds. The blue button. Hold up. Shut down left, start central, emptying right. So shut down, empty, start. Start, shut down, empty. Um. I'm going to tell you one thing right now that would make this game a hell of a lot scarier if it doesn't have this mechanic. 
is like some kind of fear mechanic. Because there are things that would definitely get anyone riled up. And um, if they had like a fear or anxiety mechanic, it would be fantastic. Like, in my, like, so like, sick visage. Visage was a poor game to me because its puzzles were completely fucking stupid. Um, but its free fear mechanic though was a pretty good mechanic. But now let's see if I fucking die. I'm gonna try it again. Oh dear God. Fuck you. I don't know how none of those bushes are br aren't burning, but okay. <gasps> Battery clamps! That's for the, uh... thing on the upper balcony, I think. Usher must have left one of his folders inside the car. Well, we can try that once I unlock this shit. No? That's kind of stupid, but okay. Should I take the folder? Absolutely. Ooh. Haiku folder 2. What? I assume that was some kind of file. The inside looks quite comfortable with every accessory imaginable. <laughs> oh, there's a lot more to this. I need to check every inch of it too. The car's bonnet is up. Seems that the battery went out. Yeah, I know. I already got the jumper cables. Which I'm pretty sure are used on the, that upper balcony. Okay, just checking to see if it would let me in there. A sandbox? A sandbox. Is there nothing else out here? Oh, I forgot to mention this too, but one thing I would do if I was this bitch, because, like, there is nothing stopping Sophie from leaving at any given moment. So what I would have done... If I was Sophie, by all here by myself like this. I mean, first off, I, I would have contacted the police. But let's say for whatever reason I didn't, I just kind of came here on my own. What I would do, straight up. As soon as that, like, that part, when, when the presence was trying to break through the door, and I had to push the door closed in, in order to ensure it wouldn't fucking kill me. As soon as that happened, I would have dipped the fuck out this bitch. I would have been like, fuck that shit, and I would have left. Daniel can fuck himself. <laughs> or better yet, I'd be like, you know, I know it killed Daniel, some kind of supernatural being. A pick and pucket. To use for gardening, I suppose. Oh. And that's how you get in there, too. So this side porch, except for the jumper cables, was basically pointless. Well, I guess the haiku folder, too. I don't hear shit. Lock with the key. This must be the servant's door. Rare is the mansion that doesn't have one. I don't think I have another key, do I? Nope. What exactly does the southern the scented candle do again? Sophie always said that the scent of these candles made her feel more at peace. Safer. Well. That door is locked. So I suppose the only logical thing to do now is to... It bothers me, though, that that door to the front patio porch place isn't just, like, 
openable from here. But I suppose as far as I'm concerned, the next logical step is to go back up to the other upper of back up to the upper balcony. Um and check out that battery. And yeah, I'm still holding on to my thing that every door that lets me do press the ear against it, I'm gonna do it. Cause I'm not chancing Sophie dying. Fuck me on a goose. I find it interesting that the game doesn't automatically pause when you like put the map out. At least not right away. But I'm pretty sure it wants me to lift up the battery, otherwise I don't think it would have shown me that specter. You know, Visage promised a slow start, but to an ultimately good horror experience. This game lives up to that. So far, at least. It has some slight issues. For example, the, um... Hmm? Oh, right. It has some small issues. For example, the lack of tank controls. Or at least the lack of an option for them. <laughs> Jesus Christ on a goose. Oh shit. Something terrible is drawing near. You need to hide before it's too late. Look around you and find a place where you can go undetected. Once you've interacted with a hiding place, it will appear on the map, but the following time is short. To run, hold that. It's the wardrobe. What the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. You managed to hide from the darkness, but the worst is yet to come. Try to keep a level head. To calm down, follow the rhythm of your heartbeat by pressing that. When the white border reaches the center of the circle. Start to panic above all else, don't look at it. Wait, when the, when the white border reaches the center of the circle. Gotcha. I did it, right? Oh, fuck. Oh. Is that for real? Or am I imagining things? <sighs> Dying of the light. I don't know why the fuck you're still in this fucking house, lady. That's the biggest question to me right now. That's gotta be Daniel's room. Huh. Her permanent thing is a jog now. Like, I'm not even holding L2, but it's still happening. Or not. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Rather not touch those wires. Damn it.
There we go. Didn't take me too long to figure that out. Oh. oh fuck. Okay, here's the thing about it. I'm honestly on edge right now. And you know that, it, like, th this game, I'm telling you right now, this game so far is not survival horror. This game is, like, psychological horror. And I love it. I really do. Psychological horror is the best kind of horror. But, like, I have not encountered a legitimate enemy yet. Okay, yeah, I opened that one door, but that one door was not, like, a legitimate enemy, like, you know, the, the classic kind. It wasn't, like, one of those goddamn lichens from Resident Evil Village. Like, I haven't encountered a single actual enemy yet, and yet this game is already doing wonders, and that's a good thing. 